What's up guys, Brandon here from Spartan Exotics. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing these amazing millipedes, the Coromus Vitatus, also known as the Armored Millipede. Now, I did order these from a reptile shop. Um, they are available on Spider Shop right now, uh, but I ordered these from Exotic Heart, a reptile store that has quite a good variety in inverts. Get this tape off and obviously for reptile shop this is how they've packed it um, loads of bubble wrap there's the heat pad so very good patching but we should have get the tape off we should have four in here I did ask if they could get sexed um, when handling these guys, do wear gloves. Uh, I currently don't have any, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and not pick them up. There you go. Very stunning animals, and it's gonna come onto my hand. What a surprise! Uh, as you can see, very amazing millipede. Now these do let off a small amount of cyanide so it will irritate the skin if you stress them out so that's why I do not recommend doing what I'm doing right now um, let's see if I can get them back in just like that but yeah amazing looking millipede very different to a lot of others um, as soon as I saw them I had to get them but there should be four in here. So we've got two. We've got another one there. That's, yeah, the other two are down there. Okay. And hopefully this is either two males and two females, or one male and three females. Um, I'm still waiting for a message back to see if they were able to sex them at the time. If not, it's completely understandable. Um, it's not a service, you know, they had advertised anyway, as they were being sold as unsexed. But we shall see in the future. Now let's get over to getting them in their enclosure. Now, before we go ahead and set up the enclosure, I need to make sure you all put a lot of airflow in the tubs for this species of millipede, as there has been cases where they have produced so much cyanide that they basically die from their own cyanide. So as you can see here, I've got loads of airflow in the lid and on the sides. But other than that, I'll show you how to set up the rest of the enclosure. Let's get right into it. So this is the tub we're gonna be using. It's quite large and you can fit quite a lot of substrate in. Now, a lot of sources say these guys get to six centimeters to 10, which I don't believe the 10 centimeter one because uh, there was only one source saying that. So we're just gonna assume they get to six, meaning we need to at least give them, uh, I'm gonna at least give them around three inches of substrate. So we do have, do have some leftover premium millipede um, substrate from Bugs and Bits. all that in there then we also need to add some more from this bag then mix that around see if that's enough So it's not quite enough, so we need to add some more. So there you have it. That is enough substrate for them. Uh, now we just need to add a little piece of cork, somewhere for them to hide on the surface. And then I'm gonna add more leaf litter. Like 
so. Now we're just going to give this a final spray down before adding the millipedes. Hmm, there we go. Now let's add them in. Now I will be keeping the moss as well. We'll be putting that in the enclosure to uh, help with humidity. There you have it. There's all four. Now I'm going to get some close up footage for you all. So that is the setup for the millipedes and now we are on exotics and hearts website where I got the millipedes from. So as you can see here we are on their invert section and as you can see they have quite a lot of a variety for a shop to have which is very good as inverts usually get overlooked when it comes to stores that stock reptiles. Um, but they have loads of tarantulas available, loads of mantises, um, some peach banded millipedes as well, which I personally own as well. And they even have one of these little ugly guys, which is amazing. But other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment down below your favorite millipede species and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out.